Hey everybody, my name is Cameron and I've been reading the Morning Brew newsletter every day for the last three years of my life. So I started reading the Morning Brew my freshman year of college. I now am in my summer going into my senior year, which is absolutely bizarre. A few days ago, I received this beautiful mug from the Morning Brew for getting 20 total referrals, which is already uh, pretty unbelievable, but luckily, I had a video that performed pretty well and I think a lot of you guys subscribed through that. But anyway, when I got this mug, it really just caused me to reflect on the last few years of being subscribed to The Morning Brew and the difference it's made in my life. So in today's video, I just wanna talk about how reading The Morning Brew every single day has impacted my life and what I think it could do for you too. So I've written five different things down and some of them are definitely pretty obvious, I can admit that, but some of the other ones are a little bit more obscure and are a little bit more nuanced that I have learned from my own experience. If you aren't already subscribed to the newsletter, then what are you doing? Go to the link down below in the description and subscribe. You definitely won't regret it. So with this all being said, let's get into this list. So the first thing on this list is admittedly the most obvious, and that is that I am much better informed. Obviously, when you're reading a newsletter every day that is hitting on all the main aspects of the economy and the business world, you are just going to naturally be better informed on the economy and the business world. But The Morning Brew kind of inspired way more than just that. Through reading the newsletter, I would get a pretty brief summary on maybe something that's happening in finance. From there, a lot of the times I would be pretty interested and that would then result in me doing a little bit more research on the side learning more about that topic, and then ultimately becoming, you know, pretty well informed and definitely much more informed than the average person. The Morning Brew definitely does a good job of covering a really wide array of topics. Obviously, they are all focused on business, but they also throw in some pop culture in there as well. Just so in case you're only focused on the business world, you at least can still have a conversation with someone who might be from a completely different industry. When I first started reading The Morning Brew, it was a pretty big shift to my system. I came from not really getting any news other than maybe watching some Graham Stephan YouTube videos or seeing something that one of my friends would retweet or post on their Instagram story. So when I first jumped into The Morning Brew, it was a whole new world for me. There were so many terms and ideas and business industries that I frankly wasn't even aware of at the time. So the first couple months were full of me learning just so much. The Morning Brew kind of prides itself on being easily digestible and uh, able to be read in five minutes. Well, when I first got The Morning Brew, I definitely wasn't reading it in five minutes. I was taking my time, I was going through, making sure that I understood each of the key terms that were mentioned, because at the end of the day, I didn't want to just be reading words off a screen, I wanted to be understanding them and be able to apply them to whatever situation they might apply in my own life. Now, I wasn't just gaining all this information just for my own benefit, it certainly benefited me in a lot of different areas of my life. The first is just normal conversations. You really would be surprised, uh, especially as a college student, just how much you're talking about recent business news. I myself am in a fraternity, so a lot of the conversation in our day-to-day -day lives is about the stock market, certain things happening in the business world, and honestly, The Morning Brew helped so much. I no longer was just someone who heard a random fact from a random person. I now was much better informed, and I was able to have much better conversations uh, with my friends. Another situation where this applies kind of to the college setting is your college classes. Now, a lot of my upper-level business classes some of the material is pretty intense, but surprisingly through my couple of years of reading The Morning Brew, I understood a lot of the concepts behind what we might be learning in accounting or finance or marketing. Also, just naturally in conversation in those classes, the professors usually like to mention certain things that might be going on in the business world. So it was always nice to kind of have a little background on that, be able to partake in that conversation with the professor and the other more involved students. This has definitely made my college class experience a little bit more enjoyable just because now I know pretty much everything that is being discussed in class. And finally, probably the most important aspect of 
being well informed is that it has helped me tremendously as far as getting my internship. This summer I have a banking internship with Regions Bank and the recruitment process was pretty tough. I participated in a lot of different interviews and applications for tons of different banks. And one thing that you can count on for each of the interviews is that they will ask you something about the current financial markets. Well, when reading the Morning Brew every single day, it is not hard to come up with something that interests you in the business world. Whenever I would get a question like this, it was always so easy to have an awesome conversation with whoever the recruiter or the analyst might be who was interviewing me. Not only did I have an actual answer to their question, but it was always easy to see kind of my passion and my interest in what it was that I was talking about. I'm not gonna give Morning Brew all the credit for me getting uh, my internship, but definitely the foundational knowledge that Morning Brew instilled in me certainly did help. So that wraps up the first way that reading the Morning Brew kind of changed my life, and that is that it made me much more informed. The second way that the Morning Brew impacted me is that it introduced me to a whole new community. Now, like I said, I started reading the Morning Brew my freshman year of college. That was back in 2018. It's now 2021. And the Morning Brew just opened up my eyes to a whole new world. Before on Twitter, I was only following people from my high school and maybe a couple of NBA players. But I eventually decided to follow the Morning Brew on Twitter, follow everyone who worked for Morning Brew, wrote for them, and that just opened the door to me to so many new ideas and new people. From here, I then was introduced to a lot of other news outlets and news personalities that again, just taught me so much and allowed me to learn constantly. From there, I also found a lot of really funny uh, finance meme pages uh, on Twitter and Instagram, and they are definitely entertaining and give a really good glimpse and inside look at what the finance industry actually is like. So that is the second way that reading the Morning Brew kind of impacted my life. The third way that reading the Morning Brew every single day for the last three years changed my life is that it added a lot of structure to my morning routine. Now, like a lot of college students, when I first started off, I was new to the whole idea of freedom and being able to make my own schedule, waking up whenever I wanted uh, and things like that. But as soon as I subscribed to the Morning Brew, I made sure that I put it on my to-do list to read it every single day when I woke up before I did anything else. This really allowed me to add some structure and a routine uh, to my mornings. And again, it kept me from wasting time instantly scrolling through Instagram or TikTok. Uh, wouldn't it have been TikTok back in the day, but it always let me start my day uh, doing at least something educational and learning a little bit. Also at this point, because I've been reading it, first thing when I wake up every day, it is now definitely a habit and it's pretty tough to break. My numbers on this could be wrong, but I thought there was an adage that said, if you do something every day for two weeks or three weeks, it becomes a habit. And that is definitely the case with reading The Morning Brew. This structure and routine has kind of morphed its way into a lot of different areas of my life. Reading the newsletter is kind of now a single part of a pretty intricate uh, morning routine that I have. And I can accredit a lot of my productivity to this routine that I have in the morning that sets me up to have a very productive day. So that is the third way that reading the morning brew impacted my life. And that is that it added much needed structure to my college experience. Another thing that the morning brew did for me is that it added a little bit more clarity on my career aspirations. Now, obviously probably the target audience for the morning brew is a young professional, someone who is most likely out of college and already established in their career. Because of this, this means that a lot of the language that they might use is somewhat technical, but it also means that they don't shy away from giving a pretty inside glimpse into a lot of different industries. When I first started off college, I was a finance major. That didn't really mean too much to me. I was still trying to figure it out. No real path for where I wanted to go. But through reading The Morning Brew every day, learning a little bit more about a lot of different things, it really gave me a little bit more clarity on what I wanted to do. Three years later, I am filming this after wrapping up a pretty long day um, in my banking internship. So I can definitely attest to the fact that reading The Morning Brew gave me some clarity on what I wanted to do career-wise. At the same time though, it showed me just how interconnected a lot of different industries are. For example, a lot of legal topics come up in conversation um, with finance and that it's kind of something that has always been of interest to me. I now am considering going down the JD MBA combined degree route 
and I have really just learned a lot about the two industries through the morning brew. So now the final way that the morning brew impacted my life is that it increased my reading speed. So like I said earlier on in this video, the newsletters are supposed to be able to be read in five minutes. Well, as I mentioned, when I first started reading, I definitely wasn't reading it in five minutes. Not only was I looking up a lot of terms and taking my time so I could fully digest everything, my reading comprehension and speed was honestly just pretty bad. But since that time, I've really worked on improving my reading speed. And now I try to get through the morning brew as fast as I can while still retaining as much information as possible. This kind of has morphed into a daily game. I like to play it with myself and I definitely have seen improvements in uh, reading, whether it's a fun and exciting uh, finance textbook for a class at school or a self-help or fiction book that I'm reading just for fun. I've really seen my reading speed and comprehension increase. Reading speed has an impact on so many different areas of your life. Reading is something that you're really going to need uh, for the rest of your career. So I'm very grateful that I've been able to increase my speed in these last few years. One last bonus thing that I want to mention is that each Friday, the Morning Brew newsletter includes a short five question quiz uh, to the end of the newsletter. And I have always enjoyed uh, taking that quiz and seeing how I score. This is one way to kind of measure how well you were reading uh, the newsletter that week. And I can proudly say uh, that I consistently get five out of fives on the quiz. Not only does this reaffirm that I'm actually retaining some of the information that I am reading, but it also might give me a little confidence boost uh, when I'm up at school that I am at least capable of doing well on some of those exams as well. So guys, that is the entire video. I know it's a little different than some of the videos I've made in the past, but I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. Like I said before, if you are not yet subscribed to The Morning Brew, click the link down below in the description, give it a subscribe. It'll only take you about 10 seconds to do it and you definitely won't regret it. As always, if you have any questions at all, you can reach out to me on Instagram right here at Galbraith. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.